Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know down in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. Just drop a link and don't feel limited to what you can give us to react to. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and watching. You guys are the best. Thank you for 18,000 subscribers. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to do this now before Ramadan 2021. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you Assalamu alaikum. Is it just me or has Ramadan come back so fast this time? Perhaps it's because of what's going on and the lockdown and everyone's occupied and the days are passing. Guess what? We're almost back into the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah. Now I want to share with you something amazing. From now, you must start planning what you want to do in Ramadan. And I'm going to tell you what that will do for you. So you must plan how much Quran you want to read, how you want to fast, what salah you are going to read in terms of voluntary salah over and above the compulsory farad salah. You would, you would perhaps get the chance to fulfill a lot more what you're going to read in terms of books, what you're going to listen to in terms of lectures, what you're going to do to expand your knowledge, what you're going to do in terms of extra ibadah, standing at night, uh, what you're going to do to make this Ramadan more meaningful and productive, start planning from now. Learning the Quran, reading the meaning of the Quran, trying to understand it, putting it into practice, changing a few things in your life, seizing the opportunity of Ramadan to change completely. Now, the reason why it's very important to make serious intentions already we don't know if we're actually going to witness the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, let us reach the month of Ramadan. Allow us to witness. Uh, oh Allah, allow us to witness the month of Ramadan. It's not yet Ramadan. I may die before Ramadan. And that's a reality. I may. Who knows? May Allah grant us all Jannatul Firdaus. Make it easy for us. May Allah give us paradise. But in the case where we don't make it to Ramadan because Allah has taken us away, guess what? You will have a full reward of everything you seriously intended to do because إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ Definitely all your actions are judged by their underlying intentions. So the hadith says, whoever intends to do good and was unable to do it, Allah writes a reward for that person. Subhanallah. So you will get a reward for whatever you intended to do, but couldn't do it. And if you end up doing it and Ramadan comes, you will actually have a multiplied reward in that particular case. Look at the mercy of Allah. So this is why it's always good when you have an opportunity to think about what you want to do, to plan it, to plan it out in a beautiful way so that you're serious about it, to start thinking about how you're going to be spending Ramadan and inshallah how we're going to be making an Umrah. May Allah open that door for us as well to say Ameen. Subhanallah. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. And how we're going to be uh, spending the days and ibadah and the salah and reading the Quran and how many times we'd like to complete the recitation of the Quran, how we want to improve our tajweed and so on. Make the plans from now and start intending these things so that you have a full reward. Even in the case where you haven't made it to the month of Ramadan and Allah takes you away before that. And even if you're, you become ill or sick, during those days and you're unable to fulfill what you intended to fulfill, you will still have a full reward of what you planned to do. Subhanallah. Amazing, isn't it? So this is the beauty of the month of Ramadan and planning for it. And if Allah allows us to witness Ramadan and we happen to be able to fulfill what we planned, even if it wasn't to the full extent, 
we will still have a reward and a multiplied reward for everything we were able to do. May Allah forgive our shortcomings and grant us the ability to fulfill this in an amazing way. So one of the most beautiful things we need to start doing now in preparation for Ramadan is to start intending, making niyyah and start planning and start promising that inshallah I'm going to do this and inshallah this year I want to do that. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do this and do that. And you know what? You can start with a few of these things now. Don't wait for, don't wait for Ramadan because we might not see it. And we still want an increased reward. Show Allah that we are serious about these beautiful promises that we're making. May Allah bless you all. Spread this message far and wide because when you spread a message, anyone who follows what you've said, you get a full reward of whatever they've planned to do in Ramadan. How cool is that? Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. May Allah bless you all and grant us all the ability to understand that time is flying. We don't know how long we have to live. People are falling ill, passing away sometimes. Some are surviving. The majority are surviving, but we don't know. Allah has prescribed and written and destined the time that we're going to be leaving this earth for better, for greener pastures, basically, for a better place. And we don't know when that's going to be. But inshallah, a true believer looks forward to that trip. أقول قولي هذا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله I sincerely love how everyone comes together to actually um, fast. Things done together um, bring some sort of advantage and goodness because first of all, you're united. Secondly, you're all praying at the same time. You're all doing the same things. That results, that brings in great results. Otherwise, when it comes to preparing for Ramadan, um, when it comes to preparing for Ramadan, you have to mentally prepare yourself. Don't wait till the last day to start saying, okay, today, this is when I'll be, I'll prepare myself. Always find means to prepare yourself. First, mentally prepare yourself. Then secondly, physically prepare yourself in the sense that some people may suggest you start fasting before so that during Ramadan, it's not hard. And some people will say, you know what? I take it as today is Ramadan. Prepare yourself. What do you want in life? What do you want out of this Ramadan? What are you going to do? What won't you do? How are you going to preserve yourself? How are you going to worship the Lord? How are you going to give thanks to the Lord? All those things count. And it's really up to everyone that's going to be fasting during the month of Ramadan to take precautions. Otherwise, I think it's in a few days. And I'm just happy for everyone that's going to be fasting. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. And you can feel free to tell me how you guys can prepare for such an event and I'll be more than glad to read your response. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.